Well, about 12, 13 years ago, I built the dairy for Terry. And throughout this time, we've been working on other projects with him. And the light, latest deal is our commodity barn, which they call the pantry. The building's 360 foot long and 120 foot wide. The main part of it, we have wings coming off for ramps. We're 10 feet in the ground. And the reason we did that is to help us on the ramp because we built a bridge to drop the commodities from the top. Mountain Home is kind of known for its wind. And I would park back by our old commodity area and watch money blow away every day. I didn't know how much money it would save or if it would save anything, but at least I don't see the feed blown away. I'm not sure the amounts of things yet even, but it's huge. Before, at the old place where we were doing this, the semis had come and we'd have to stop and wait for them to um, unload and we get about 20 semi loads of something a day and that made us so inefficient we you know loaders and tractors are sitting there running and the people are getting paid to sit there uh, when we put the batch boxes at the old place where we fed we saved 5.4 hours on the loader that was loading the feed uh, my goal from the start was to eventually become uh, totally self-contained. Uh, we, we grow about 61% of our feed right now. At first we just milked cows. Then we started to look at uh, raising our own heifers. We got them as close-ups and then we, we just kept moving down the chain until we got to the last piece which is the babies and that's why I looked at this I was not in favor of the hutches and everybody raised with hutches but I went to see a, a similar setup to these in Iowa and I couldn't get that off out of my mind and so I decided if I was going to be the one that's raising the calves here, we need to make it efficient and, and as good as we can for the animals and people. There's a lot to why I went this route. It's an expensive way, but I think in the end we're going to be able to produce better animals and um, the people have a better place to work and the calves have a better place to live. This is what we call the nursery. Well, they're about 350 feet long, 63 feet wide, and we have a little over 300 calves in a building. We give them 40 square foot per calf. So it's, it's quite, you would think a lot of square foot, but it is instrumental in keeping these calves healthy. They, they outgrow calves in hutches and with less labor. This is the controller. Uh, this does uh, all the controlling of the curtains and uh, up and down and the fans, how fast they run, how much air we're moving. Try to keep the temperature as good as we can for the calves. They do jump and play and I think it's healthy for them. If I was a calf, I'd want to live in these. 